Okay, guys, we are ready to go, so uh, let's get this started. I want to thank everybody for uh, working with POV Pool and Sharky's Family Billiards here at the first annual Tiger 8 Brawl event. Welcome. This is the final match, the final match taking place between Greg Harada and Santos Sambajon. Greg Harada was recently knocked to the one loss side a few matches ago. Uh, this is actually a true double elimination event. True double elimination, which means that uh, Greg is going to have to win this first race 2-5. And then he's going to have to win a second race on the one loss side to 3 Makes sense, guys. So we have true double elimination. Race to 5, race to 3. So, uh, you want to join me? And uh, uh, apropos for this moment, uh, it will be Ray King slash Cruz joining me in the commentary booth for this final match. I don't know if he's going to stay for the whole thing, but uh, I just wanted to say thank you, Ray, for uh, having this tournament and... Uh, for pulling in all the sponsors that you did with Tiger and Heineken and Dos Equis and uh, and uh, doing the t-shirts and the trophy and the championship ring that these guys are going to be playing for. This is the championship ring on the screen right now. Well, thank you very much for um, doing this for us. It's a big thing for the, for this place. Well, I tell you what, it's uh, it's big for everybody that's here because uh, you know we filled up this bracket pretty quickly, and uh, I'm 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 very impressed, and I really appreciate you taking a lot of our suggestions, and uh, you know uh, doing the no green fees and getting a thousand added for this tournament and the queue that was raffled. Just a, a very good effort collectively, and uh, and I'm glad to be working with you. And it looks like you got big plans too for more tournaments. Yes, um, we'll be starting a uh, quarterly tournament. Will be the nine ball tournament. Yeah. And uh, that nine ball will be added, uh, same as thousand dollar. So it's every quarter we have the nine ball, except for the December, we'll have the eight ball, the eight ball. Well, cool. So the eight ball will be an annual, and you're gonna have a quarterly nine ball. So everybody. Yes. Don't forget to uh, check out Sharky's Family Billiards on Facebook so that you can uh, stay tuned with everything that's going on here in Lancaster at Sharky's Family Billiards. I'm going to click the link in the chat room. You guys can uh, uh, check out Sharky's Family Billiards in Lancaster. So uh, you also played this event, didn't you, Ray? Yeah. I didn't, I didn't do good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no worries. But look who is doing good, right? We got Greg Harada. Yep. Uh, the young gun. Yeah, I played him in Vegas last July. Me and him went hill hill. He, the last game, he just knocked me out. Yeah, Greg has a tendency to do that. Yeah, it was uh, a good match. And it seems like the only but the only person that can hold a candle to him uh, is uh, Santos. Santos right now. So let's see what's let's going see on go. here. It's gonna be it's true double elimination. Greg's at the table right now. And uh, he's got a pretty open open table here. He's shooting yes. solid. Yeah. Just to let you guys know. Uh, the shark is family, uh, including the regulars. I call them families, and people that works here. They enjoyed about this event here today, uh, especially you guys doing this for us, you know. And I will appreciate it. We keep doing this every tournament that we have here, um, and then we can have more, you know, more family member to be to play here at mm. Sharkies. Mm. Well, thank you, and I tell you what, too, it's been uh, it's been a lot of fun uh, 
being here. Uh, I, I was very impressed by everybody. Uh, all of your staff have been very helpful and very courteous and kind to everybody. And, um, you know, I think your, uh, your servers have checked on me probably 300 times today <laughs> to see if I'm okay. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I just have a sad look on my face or... <laughs> probably. <laughs> probably. <laughs> anyway, uh, looks like, uh, you know, this is... This is a bit of a grudge match for Greg because, you know, he, he really wants to... Uh, yeah, he really wants this. He really yeah. wants to get revenge against... Uh, against Santos, who kind of handed him yep. handed him his butt in the yeah, first in match, the first in the hot match. seat match, right? Yes. So there it is. There is the first one. Yeah, first game to Greg Harada. And uh, one thing that Greg was struggling with in the first match he had with Santos was the break. And uh, as you guys can see, it's uh, he's quickly made the adjustment, and he's made an improvement as well. All our, um, we still have available shirt. If anybody would like to get it, they can still order it. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Uh, and all our giveaway, it's it's already been taken. All your other raffled yeah. prizes. All that's all great, prizes. man. Yeah. You guys, you guys had a whole <coughs> bunch of stuff too that you gave away. Yeah. And uh, I'm telling you guys, if you if you didn't come here and cash in the tournament, you you, you would have cashed in the raffle. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, yeah, there are some T-shirts available. And if you want to pick up a Tiger 8 Brawl T-shirt from the first annual event, you can. Uh, they'll ship it out to you from here. Uh, you just have to send them $29 via PayPal, and that's shipping included. Mm-hmm. Like Send it to our cruise eight zero zero seven at uh, yahoo dot com. Correct. Greg just breaking and made a scratch. Now Santos got a ball in hand. We only have a uh, large, small, medium, large, and extra large left, right? No, we still have all sizes. Oh, you have all sizes? Yeah, okay. we have a 2X and 3X too. Good, okay. <coughs> all right, so Santos gets ball in hand. First, I would like to thank everybody that who came over here today to join the eight brawl tournament, and uh, I really appreciate what you guys drive all the way up here. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, a lot of people came from uh, different parts of uh, Southern California. Correct. <coughs> Hopefully, uh, you know, if uh, if people kind of catch wind of this, uh, people might uh, come from other parts too, Las Vegas, Northern California. Well, the the next event that we have will be in pretty much April, right? April, yeah. Mm -hmm. You might, I think we might can we do that in two days event. Oh, can we? Well, well, let's talk about it. We'll talk about it, and we'll try to figure something out. Mm -hmm. So, 
That's something that I have noted is that uh, Santos definitely likes to take his time uh, when it comes to situations like this where he has ball in hand or uh, he's looking at uh, a full table. Yep. A lot of different possibilities. I think he wants to take uh, he wants to take on stripes right now. Mm -hmm. It seems like he want to take it, get this, uh, make a table run on this one. So I think he played the 15 to the 11. Uh, he wants to get. Oh, well, he's picked it up now, so maybe he's got something else in mind. Hmm. <laughs> he's, he's just laugh laughing. <laughs> he's laughing right now because he just like can't just decide. <laughs> exactly. He's like, what do exactly. I do, man? It's so, uh, you know it can be really hard to focus when you're playing, especially in the finals. He's taking solids. He changed his okay, mind. He changed his mind. So how is he going to play it? He's going to play one. One. Three. Yeah, one, three, two. Yeah. One, come three, up two, table. Five. Yeah. Yep. I think he might leave the four ball last before the eight. Yeah, the four ball is a good ball, but he may need to use it for position. So there's always the five ball there. No, he's gonna oh, shoot he the five right now. shoot the five now, yeah. And then the two, then the three. Mm -hmm. I think he's in pretty good shape. And you got to play too, didn't you today? How'd you how'd you feel at the table? It's okay. Yeah. yeah. I play on a table that I never thought I was going to play, so I never played on that table. Never uh, my first oh, game. really? <laughs> and it's your pool room, right? So you're like... <laughs> Out of all the pool table in this house. <laughs> the hardest one, or...? No, it's it's one in the corner. Of, it's table three. I never play on that table. Ah, I see. So okay. I played on all of the rest of this table, but except for that one. And oh, no. That's where I got signed in the first game. Got a little nervous, huh? Mm. Just it just didn't off. go the way I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> when you, whenever you lose in pool, it just doesn't go the way you want yeah, exactly. it. Exactly. You know? So it looks like Santos is playing this well. Yeah, he yeah. likes the four ball as the key ball, but yeah, uh, that's what he's gonna use that for. I would do the same thing. So he'll play for the seven next. Mm. Ooh, he missed it. He did, didn't yeah, he? he Whoa. No, it's the missed. first time he's missed. Actually, so it is the first mm. time he's missed all all day. <laughs> he hasn't been missing. No, he hasn't. He's been produced. My apologies, guys. Yes, you're right. Uh, the scoreboard has not been edited. To reflect the right player. So it is Santos versus Greg. This is definitely going to put a f some wind in Greg's sails if he can get a, a two-game lead on Santos right now early.
taking his time right now. It seems he doesn't want to give this back to Santos. Not perfect here, but uh, I think it's, short. it's still manageable. if he can make this. There it is. Nice out by Greg. On uh, on Santos's mistake. So that's going to leave a mark. Definitely. 2-0, race to five. We are playing true double elimination. If you're just joining us, this is the finals of uh, tonight's first annual Tiger 8 Brawl tournament played out at Sharky's Family Billiards at 808 West L Avenue in Lancaster, California. And uh, this is a $1,000 added event, first ever that you are watching today. If anybody wants to pick up a t-shirt, please send me an email, daniel at povpool.com. And I'll give you instructions on how to get that t-shirt. I want to thank our sponsors, Tiger Products, and everybody else who helped out with us, outsville.com. Yeah, especially, especially thanks to Tony. I really do appreciate it. And that's the voice of Ray Cruz slash Ray King. What do you prefer, Cruz or King? What is it? King. Ray King. Okay. I'm glad we got that straight. Because I use boat boat last name, that's why my dad is the the king, my mom is the Cruz. Oh, I see. So maybe we should just hyphenate your I name. Just move that rag and move that. Yeah. Okay. I'm be, I'm being asked to uh, be of service. Hold on, I gotta move the magic rack. The Accurac. Accurac. Nice job, Daniel. Nice job. All right. That was a nice job of you. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> so
So, uh, yeah, this is the first impossible two races between Santos and Greg in the finals. If Greg wins this first race to five, we will play a final showdown race to three. Where's Craig originally from? Um, you know, I don't know where he's originally from, but I know he, uh, I met him from the, uh, sort of, uh, West L.A. Mm. area. Uh, Torrance, Hawthorne, West L.A. That's where I started playing him and, and seeing him. I actually met his cousin first, Dale Kahura, who is... Uh, by the way, a very talented pool player as mm. well. Wow. And uh, his dad, uh, Eric Harada, plays good pool, and he's, I think he's also a BCA league operator. I see. Yeah, that, because uh, that's where I met him, met uh, Craig at BCA last July. I asked him earlier if he remember me. Okay. <laughs> and then when I told him he can't remember, and then and I say until I say that, you remember we played in the bar box on the BCA <laughs> on the US Open. Yeah. And then when I told him that he got on the hill first before I caught up, so it was a hill hill, and then after that he just took it over. <laughs> so that, ah, yeah, I remember you now. He started to remember <laughs> yeah. now. Yeah. That's a very nice uh, removal of the seven ball from the rail. Kind of curious, though, how he's going to get to this uh, four ball, four. one ball, eight ball. Hmm. He might probably take first that the seven ball. Well, he can, he can play for the four now if he wants to. It's just... Uh, it's very difficult because you have to play precise Correct. seven seven to the it, to it the four. Th yeah. But um or even seven to the one and come back a little bit. But the, if the cue ball hides behind the nine, at least he has the one ball there just in case. He can't shoot that four. He can also play for the one ball right now. Play, uh, and where you can even yeah, shoot the one it. directly in. Mm -hmm. But do you see where he just put his cue? Yep. He wants to play yep, for yep. the four. There we go. And that's perfect speed, actually. They might ask me to watch this hit. I don't think they will, but they might ask me. Tricky. This is tricky. Just got to cinch this ball, draw off of it a little bit, because he is going to come in contact with the 15. Yeah, after yeah. that. Yeah, that was perfect. Very well played. Why? Greg has not given up, I tell you. He's fighting. Yeah, he's fighting. The young gun against the war torn veteran. <laughs> I was hoping that to be in the final today will be uh, Johnny King. Oh, you like Johnny King's yeah, game, huh? Yeah, I like it how we play in Santos. Well, eight ball is a very difficult game uh, for some of the gunslingers, only because it does require a lot of patience and uh, strategy. That's I true. know 
Johnny Kang has a lot of experience playing eight ball. He's definitely one of the favorites to win, too. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm equally happy that uh, Greg's getting this far and Santos. Yeah. It's still a good match. Oh, this is tough, though. Look what he's doing here. He's going to. Is he taking a fight ball? Yes. And he missed. Oh. Okay. Uh, That's going to hurt. Yep. He was just asking for the coffee. His coffee got had more coffee in, but coffee creamer. and Tagalog. Yeah, yeah. But the thing is, it's like instead of putting more coffee, he asked more creamer, so he, the coffee got a little bit cold. <laughs> so he wants to get it hot. <laughs> we appreciate the uh, interpretation there by <laughs> Ray 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 King. <laughs> He can be our official <laughs> player interpreter <laughs> for all the Filipinos. <laughs> we, might have, we might have another job for you soon. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Cream or no cream. Santos has work to do. Time to clock in, buddy. No time for coffee break now. I think he's falling asleep. That's why he wants coffee. Yeah. Mm. Is he taking as well as that one? The 14? Yeah, looks like he's, he's removing the 14 first, which is a wise shot. Drawing out, 15 next. He can play to come above the nine. Play the nine in the same pocket. But he's also, I think he's going to look at the short side of the 10 for the 10 in the side. And 10, 13, it might be combo two in the corner. I don't like the combo. I like him, uh, you know, in eight ball, you got to be very careful with combos and stuff like that. I think you you're probably better off, you know, play the ten, remove the ten, now you've got pockets for the thirteen. Or you can break this out right here. Oh. No. No, he's, he's gonna, gonna take the ten. No, the nine. He'll play, he'll play oh, for the nine. He was trying to get up on the twelve. That's what it is. You think he was try trying to play for the twelve? Yeah, trying to get up. Uh, I'm he not sure about that. I think he He's okay. He might take the 10 ball right now. Yeah, he's going to take the 10 now. You can follow this ball a little bit. Don't have to draw it. If you draw it, you end up a little weird. I think you follow this a little. For the 9. For the 13. Oh, for the 13. Yeah, in the opposite corner. He didn't take the 9, then a 13. Uh, he's not happy about this. Nope. He's not. He's gonna have a lot of work. He's got two tough shots, and uh, I don't know. <coughs> I don't think he can see the twelve. We're staying thirteen. He's cutting this. Nine ball goes, and it's probably the best shot to shoot because if you miss, you can you can try to use the eight ball for cover. For the six and five. Yeah, six, six ball for cover using the eight. The five ball doesn't it's have a pocket. Yeah, it's already blocked. So he's just gonna shoot this. Hope it goes in. And now he doesn't have to even worry about covering the ball.
Santos going to draw back here. He's going to not use any rails. Just draw right back. Perfect shape. Yeah, it was. That was a nice one. Interesting. I find this uh, this is funny, you know. That I mean, we all do this. We'll, we'll, when we play eight ball, there's so many times where we'll just get out of line on the eight ball, even though we have a perfect shot to get shape. Uh, He's going to take these in the right corner pocket. Oh, very nice shot. Nice one. Just trying to come back. He really redeemed himself there. So, Santos is on the board. Internet's much better. Thank you for asking. And uh, that being said, I'm just going to leave your uh, Facebook page in the chat room again. So if anybody wants to uh, like or subscribe to Sharky's Family Billiards, you can check them out on Facebook. And uh, when they have another tournament coming up, um, they'll make an announcement there. And uh, you can also subscribe to POV Pool on Facebook. Give us a like, subscribe, join us. All that good stuff. Well, some balls went down. What's that? He made a ball on a break. Yes, he did. Made a stripe, I think. Yeah, he made the 14 ball. Mm. Trying to see what is he trying to angle. Well, it's open, so. He might take the, the stripes. Nine to the... Uh, to the 12. 9 to the 12 on the rail. Mm -hmm. That seems legit. And then uh, I think he might go to, after the 12, he might go to 10. Because well after that, everything will wide open. Or come back. Yeah. Well, you know, look, it's like, it's kind of like if you play straight pool, you know. If you get a little bit out of line, you, you, you know, s these guys are not necessarily just playing for one ball all the time. They're playing the percentage of getting on a choice of balls, you know? Multiple. Yeah. 
because uh, in a game like eight ball, you always need a backup plan. Yeah. You know, so they're always thinking about the backup, especially when they're trying to run out. But Santos kind of, he plays like a cat, <laughs> you know, like a cat when they go to lie down and they turn around like nine times before they lie down. <laughs> Santos plays a little like that sometimes. But you know what? How can you uh, diss him, you know? Uh. He plays so good. hard to diss a guy who can play this good. One of our um, local house pro, uh, he missed this today. His name is uh, Danny, Danny Petralba. Yeah, I was talking about him earlier today. Oh, yeah. Um, he's, not, from what I heard, he's not coming back yet until March. Oh, he's not going to come back to uh, until California? Yeah, until March. Uh, he's kind of like your house pro, isn't he? Yeah. Well, I'm sure you have a few replacements that, that are happy to take his action <laughs> while he's uh, in the Philippines. Well, there's a lot of, a lot of people, good shooter here. It's just people that have played in the tournament today, they experience this, what we experience in Vegas, because they never experienced this in Vegas. You know, it's only certain people that goes. So now we have that in here. So they have the experience and they have a fun that they see all these pros and semi pros and local people that plays here. Mm -hmm. And they have a great experience for what they tell me. Yeah, you got a couple of good players, uh, Aaron. Uh, oh, Aaron? Yeah. Bo bo Bodistani? Yes, and then uh, and then Matt John Sager, Matt Merlet, John Sa Sager, Sager, and who Matt? Yeah, Merlet. I didn't get to see Matt play. I, no, wait, I think yeah, I played did. him. Remember on the Friday tournament? Yeah, you played him. I That's played him. him. I barely beat him. <laughs> I got lucky. He got Dave in the first game. It was a good match too. Look at this. Santos recovers from whatever mistake he made. Greg doesn't even have to do anything. And it's like, you know, you make one mistake against a guy like Santos, and it's, it's horrible. It's a nightmare. <laughs> Just like Keith McCready said in the, uh, in the Color of Money. It's like a nightmare, isn't it? It just keeps getting yeah. worse and worse. They're tied up now. Yeah, they are. What's that? He got to rear back again. <laughs> he pushed that. Oh, did he push him up yeah. too far yeah. or something? How do you like this do, uh, Accurac? It was good though. You can even, do you know you can even rack that on a 10 ball? What's that? You can rack on that thing on a 10 ball. Also. You can rack 10 ball on that rack. Yeah, yeah you can. And it was nice. It By was the nice. way, uh, in California, all the Oxville, all the Accuracs and all that, you can get it from Caliber Billiards. Oh, okay. So, uh, you know, you're a room owner, so it might even be a good idea to start becoming a dealer, you know. Mm. But uh, you have all sorts of options being a room owner, you know. What's happening? These no, guys took a break for a second? No, I don't know. 
I think uh, Santos went to Santos going to go get some more creamer. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> It seems that it's cold outside right now. Yeah, well, probably it is cold outside. Yeah, they probably opened the door. The front door. Went to open the door? Yeah, sometimes the, they opened the front door to get that cold to come in inside because it's too hot. Oh, okay. To sh to to shorten the rails a little bit? Correct. But <laughs> Pretty much. Actually, uh, lengthen the rails. <laughs> the link. Well, I don't feel like it's getting any colder in here. Oh, not in this back room. In here? No, it's not cold. It's in no. the front. It's outside. It's yeah. outside. Is there any action going on? I don't know. You see your son, Chris, over there. He looks like he's playing for big money. <laughs> no, he doesn't, he doesn't <laughs> play for that. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, folks. All right, Santos is go. back from whatever adventure he just came off of. More creamer. More creamer, yeah, exactly. Some stripy ball just went flying into the side pocket. Okay, looks like the five covers one of those stripes. So I think he's immediately looking at solids. Yep. Well, that was a nice layout. Well, I don't think it's the easiest, but no. uh, I'm sure he would be a lot happier if the cue ball was in the middle of the table, you know. <laughs> Give him a, a few more choices. But... I like solids so far from what I'm looking at. Yeah. Everything's wide open for that one. And easy out. Well, he's got to play a good two ball here. Uh, he may even go ahead and play the six early. He'll probably take that after the one. Well, I don't know uh, if the oh, one. I, I don't know if one. the one plays to the side, uh, Ray. The two ball plays no, to the, the corner. No, the two in the corner, and then. Yeah. No, he's probably coming back for that. Two in the corner, one in the opposite corner, Correct. and then. Yep, he did. Yeah. He's gonna take that. And then uh, he'll uh, start working his way down table. He wants to play the six ball though soon, so that he can play the five. Mm. It may look a little unorthodox because he has to actually kind of go up table, down table, then back up table. But uh, when you have trouble balls like this, sometimes that's that's the only choice. Well, now he can play and just break out the 10 away from the 5. Like, Len's like, okay, give me a chance. 
What's that? Looks like looking at the table, looking at him and saying, give me a chance. Greg? Yeah. It, well, I mean, he he's not happy. Oh, no, he's not. I mean, he, he, he worked hard. He got two games early so, yeah. to uh, get a head start. And Santos is just punishing him for his, uh, for, for what, a dry break? Is that what happened? Yep. No, he scratched. He scratched, he that's scratched. right. He scratched. And, uh, y you know, this, it's, it's just, it's demoralizing. It really is. I mean, in the big scheme of things, it's not, but, uh, but it feels demoralizing. as bridges. It's like a 22-inch <laughs> bridge. You're Filipino. Can you play like that? That bridge that long? Well, as long as open How tall is he? Do you know how tall he is? Are you taller than him? I'm taller than him. So he's like 5'4"? Five five, what are you? Yeah, 5'7 Oh, man. He's like 5'5", five, 5'4". Five, five, I think he's 5'4". There you go. Yeah, well, there you go. That's for sure. There he goes. Just, just uh. I can't really. I mean, I can't imagine how Greg feels right at this moment. Mm. The only thing that this comes close to for me is when I was. I was playing Dave Hemma, and I was up ahead of him uh, four games to one. He ran a four-pack on me, and, uh, you know, he ended up winning the set. You know, he ran out the rest of the set, and I thought I had him, you know. So... It was one of those times, too, when I was playing Dave, you know, and uh, and I played him many, many times. So I always saying, I, I got to beat Dave Hemmel one day. And, you know, here I was so <laughs> close to the finish line, you know. That was your chance. That was my chance. Well, I did finally beat Dave Hemmel, but, you know. What's the score now? Three to two? It's, uh, yeah, now it's three to two. Like he's waiting because uh, somebody's on the trying to sit on the chair. Yeah, he doesn't want to. Don't get shark that sharkies, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ooh. look at this—a dry break. Wow. Greg's chance to come back. Oh, he's a wide open table. There's really not, I don't see a lot of problems. If he's going for solids, he might have a problem with the three ball. But he's playing stripes. He might have to.
to play this long shot on the 14, 14. I think. Goes in. And he's okay. He's got the he's got a choice of balls now. Nine ten ball. Uh I like the nine ball. Maybe he can I'd probably take that. Yeah, he might take that nine ball. But you know what's funny is he could he could take the nine and then play the eleven next. And that's what he's the way I look at it, that's what he's trying to do. He's he's got to come up table for that 15 though sooner than later I think, so maybe now is the time. Okay, so he's got a tiny bit of angle I think. He could actually draw out and. Uh, if he can bring the cue ball between the six and the two, then he can eliminate that 11 ball. Yeah. And then the 11 ball has a natural angle to the to the 13 and the 10. Can I see 11 right now? Uh, he can see the 11, yeah. So oh, he wants to shoot, yeah, yeah, shoot the 13. Good work. These guys aren't splitting this money, by the way, folks. $950 to the winner. $600 for second place. Or is it? $650. $650. dollars difference in this match. Hey, boo boo. We have a match. Three apiece. I'm going to try to close that. Next turn, we got, I'm going to try to close the back area. I like put more curtain. Oh, more curtains? Why is that? So we can't hear the other people from the So outside. it can get hotter in here? <laughs> <laughs> And everybody will be here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like the door is open now because it's getting a little cooler. See, I can feel you. it. Okay, so we got Greg's break. So I actually feel pretty good for him to make uh, a ball on this break. The way he's been powering the break yeah. in the last couple of hours. There goes the there one. Goes. There goes a 14. And look at this. This is a nice little layout. This doesn't look that hard, actually. Yeah. If you keep playing like this, you, you might have another round. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if Greg wins this race, it's... Uh, Gives him the opportunity to double dip and win this tournament. But let's not get, not get ahead of ourselves. 
It's a race to two right now in this first race at 3-3. Three, three. Not bad for a one-day tournament. We're right on schedule, aren't we? Yep. 64 players. We got through them all day. And then we, st what time did we start? We started a little late today. We were supposed to start at 1130, 11.30, but I think we didn't, we didn't do the first break until about 10 to, uh, 10 to 12. So oh. we had a players meeting and, you know, there were, there were a lot of questions, so. And then plus, yeah, we, we did good. We really did good for one day. So I like that shot. Greg took the hard ball. He took the tough shot away first. Using stripes. Hmm. I mean, there was a pattern for solids as well. But now all he has to do is stay in one area. He's got his choice of shots here. Play the 11, play for the 14 or for the 13. Doesn't really matter. The only thing he doesn't want to do is end up jacked up over that four ball. Which is not even, doesn't even come to the equation. He's taking a 10 ball now. Yeah, 10, 13, 8 to the side. He might have to draw back off of the rail here, bounce out to the uh, to that spot. You know, he's pretty straight on this ball. Call the side pocket. Yep. Greg, man, he's playing with a lot of heart right now. Hey, uh, you know what? I'd love a coffee. Black coffee. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, while Greg is racking, can you tell us uh, tell us when your regular tournaments are so that people can come to Sharky's and participate in your regular tournaments? Uh, regular tournaments here is every uh, Friday, Friday night, uh, eight ball, BCA rule. Race it three to the winner side, race it to the loose side is double elimination. Okay. On, uh, double elim. Yes, and then on uh, Saturday, it's a nine ball tournament, double elimination too. Okay, Saturday. Yes. Nine ball. Nine ball. So Friday eight ball. Yes. Saturday nine ball. Mm -hmm. What? Twelve bucks? Ten bucks? Uh, the Friday one is eleven dollar, and then we have an eight ball pot. So pretty much the one dollar goes to the pot. Um, and then um, on Saturday is only ten bucks. Okay. What's the zip code here? Nine three five three four. Okay. Fridays and Saturdays. Come on down to Sharky's Family Billiards, 808 West Avenue L, Lancaster, 93534. Come play some tournaments. Get used to these tables because you might be taking home the cash in the next Tiger 8 or 9 brawl.
tournament. That's right. At Sharky's Billiards. Sharky's Family Billiards. Did you get the website back up today, by the way? You, you got in, right? No. Let me check your website. No, you've had no. some. No, for those, I'll leave you guys the link. But uh, there have been some problems with the website today, so I'm sure they'll fix that in the next week or two or in the next couple days. Kind of makes me want to sweat a long match between these guys, you know? It looks like, like it. Who do you think would win a race to 25 or, <laughs> you know, race to 20? Well, it's not done. I asked for more coffee and cream. Yes, and creamer. <laughs> I guess this was a dry break. It looks like it because he got. Got Santos on the table. Wow. Wow. This is going to end up Hill Hill. for the five. If he hits the two on the way in, it's going to be big trouble. I would hit the two. <laughs> <laughs> Does he even have room on that table? goes to the corner. Does he have, I'm sorry, does he have room to what? To that able in the corner because he keeps looking at it. I'm not sure at all. Uh, he, he might have to, yeah, it looks oh like yeah, it might pass. <coughs> Let's see if I can check from another angle here. It looks like it does. Uh, Ray, I think it does. Okay. That's why you keep looking at it. Yeah. He's all right. If he gets a shot on the eight, he'll most likely make it. Because that's what Santos does. He makes balls. <laughs> <laughs> when you make this two ball. I'm pretty surprised he's leaving the two ball as his key ball, you know? It's kind of the opposite way for me. So he just wants to come between the nine and the ten and get right there where he just put his cue. But uh, pressure can do strange things. No pressure. 
pressure at all. No pressure at all. Well said, Ray. I wish Calvin was here. We'd see some side bets flying. <laughs> Can't believe he took the last ball. It's a two ball. So it was seven. I tell you what, Calvin, he would be loving this match right now. And all his money would be on Santos. Wow. Wow. This is a great match, guys. So uh, no matter what happens here, I want to thank you guys all for tuning in. If Greg can win this game, we will uh, parlay into a second race because it's true double elimination. If not, uh, we will hand the championship ring to Santos. Santos. Uh, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. We've seen both of these guys break dry. We've seen both of them make mistakes. Not very many, but uh, mistakes are mistakes. Four, four. Here we go, guys. Six not, ball. It's not dry this time. Not dry. Okay, let's take a look upstairs here. Oh, boy. Okay, so the 10 ball is the only problem I see for stripes right now. And uh, uh, He's looking for help right now for he, the... Uh, he's looking for a way out. Yeah. Hold on, I need to get this rack off again, or the ball off. Yeah, I'll be right back. So, uh, solids are no good because look at all the stripes in front of that two ball. I mean, we've seen Santos do some pretty amazing stuff today. But uh, <laughs> I think stripes are probably the suit. Uh, he can play short side of the 10. He can also play 13 goes. And he's got lots of balls down by the corner pocket, the opposite corner pocket. So if he wanted to play the short side of the 10, he could. We might see some fireworks in this last game, though. Again, Santos is checking it all out.
Here we go. He's he's a, he's so disappointed right now. <laughs> All that. <laughs> I think well, I think at the very least he wanted well, he he wanted some angle. He wanted some angle. Oh, I see. On the 15, so he could come down with the cue ball, you know, and uh, and kind of make something happen. Now he's going to have to spin, draw, and spin off the rail. He, I think he's he now he's looking at like maybe he can play the 10, back cut the 10, and then everything send everything toward the corner pocket. All right. Okay. Can you? Well, I mean, he he can cut the nine into the fourteen. Call it, call the fourteen. He ain't trying to make any mistakes, though. That's the thing. The eleven goes now, but uh, I don't, I don't, I don't like that shot at all. It doesn't. It's not productive, and it doesn't take him the way forward because that eleven ball could serve as a good breakout shot. He can, uh, he can play the eleven into the, you know, like if he gets the right angle on the eleven, he can roll into the four ball and, and open up that ten ball. That's his main problem is that ten ball. Now what was that he just looked at? Yeah, he, he's he's gonna play the nine into the fourteen. I think he'll he might even roll. <laughs> He's he's uncomfortable, very uncomfortable right now. He's 
trying to work it out. I think he rolled a rolled a nine into the fourteen. The cue ball uh, bounces uh, into the twelve a little bit. You you hit the twelve toward the other corner, and then you work it out from there. You know, like where where's the nine? Where's the twelve after this shot? You use the twelve maybe to get to the ten. But that's the difference between me and this guy is uh, I make decisions way too quickly. <laughs> 14 ball. Look at this. Oh, that's... Oh. Maybe he overthought this. I don't know, but he's in he's in dire straits right now. That was a terrible outcome. I think he was trying to do way too much. Side pocket. Wow. No. It goes. Talk about recovery. Boy, I hope this championship ring that we got here, I hope it fits him. Looks pretty good from here. He doesn't like it. from Santos. <laughs> there you go. Wow. What a great win by Santos, man. And what a fight from Greg Harada, who will take second place in the first annual Tiger 8 Brawl. 
He will win $650. Santos will take $950 and the championship ring. So we're going to have a quick handing of the prize money, and uh, we're also going to have Ray is going to present the championship ring to him. And uh, I want to thank everybody who tuned in today, and thank you for helping us to promote this. We didn't do a lot of uh, promotion ourselves, but want to thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks to our sponsors, Tiger Products, Caliber Billiards, Outsville.com, uh, 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 Ivy Organics, uh, Heineken, Dos Equis. Anyone else I'm forgetting? CompuSport, Q Sticks International. Oh my goodness. Championship ring goes to Santos Sambajol. So uh, let's get this going on. We'll be uh, uh, back with you uh, in January, live from Tucson, Arizona, to stream the uh, uh, USBA uh, three-cushion event. And don't uh, be sure not to miss the Karam Clash. Check out povpool.com for more information. We love you guys. Keep loving pool. And stick around. We're going to do the championship uh, ring ceremony. Thanks for watching the Tiger 8 Brawl here live from Sharkies. Don't forget to like them on Facebook and uh, and don't forget to like us on Facebook. Like us on YouTube and subscribe. We'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks a lot.